Now this is how you start off among I hear Jesus. I left off on book four. This manga cover is absolutely sick. But I have some like residue on here. I don't know why. I haven't been able to get this off. <coughs> Saitama has climbed up 46 tiers. Pretty fire so far. Genos meets up with another S tier character. His name is Bang. And he gets information that a meteor is coming down and it's going to blow up the earth and there is nothing that can really be done about it. So that's it for One Punch Man. This was a nice ride. Thanks for watching guys. Geno starts doing this Iron Man shit with a briefcase. And he like activates these like arms mode prototype thingy. It looks fucking badass. If that's like a thing that's constantly going to be happening with Genos, him upgrading himself mid battle. So I'm all for it, bro. This that's sick. Bro, look at that. Look at that. He has the fucking superhero landing. Okay, so then Metal Knight shows up, makes Genos look like a bitch. He like has this robot and it like shoots up and like hits the meteor, but nothing happens. So I guess it's not that cool. They're not really making any progress. So I it looks like this is the end. So thanks for watching, guys. Before it's all over, Saitama comes down and he just fucking destroys the meteor and dude, holy fuck bro, the art in this goddamn story is genuinely fucking insane! Dude, take a second to look at this, like somebody, it was a person, a living being drew this photo. Okay, so next chapter, a tsunami is coming in, Jesus fuck, look at this thing, this thing is fucking horrifying. The deep sea king has arrived. The section with the lightning guy is hilarious. It looks like Stinger has passed out. Am I too late? But there's only one left. Should I wait for backup or face him one on one? <laughs> lightning kick. That hurts. What's the big idea? What? What the heck? How do you get behind me? I was so startled. I made a weird noise. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? Can I just say with manga, usually fight scenes are super fast, very confusing. You don't understand what's going on. But with One Punch Man, dude, it is like a play-by-play. -play. This shit is awesome. Honestly, the fact that it's so simple makes it so much more effective. We see this guy called Puri Puri Prisoner, and this guy is sick. I genuinely really like this guy and his character design. Oh, oh, Speed Sonic is also here, which is fucking, I love this character so much. Okay. We need to talk about this. So at this point in the volume, the main line canon chapters are finished, but there's a bonus manga chapter at the very end. This shit, what the fuck? So the chapter follows Sonic's experience while going through the high security prison. And he ends up in this like prison cell with about like 30-ish people. Even though these guys are like, tough guys and they don't give a fuck. They're scared of their leader. Here's here's why. Their leader is Puri Puri Prisoner. Now, yes, Puri Puri Prisoner is an S rank hero, right? He's the bottom of S rank, but he still is S rank, but that's not the reason why. So, 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 so Prisoner wants to fight the good guys, but he knows that that's bad. So instead he fights the bad guys and once he beats them, he takes them and he brings them to jail and they get thrown into the high security area that that prisoner like stays at. Um, and then he has fun with them. That's that's the whole reason. This is the reason why he fights crime. If, if the prisoners are being good, they just get a little kiss on the cheek. But if they're being bad, Okay, so you see Deep Sea King right there. I like the little attention to detail. And I also like the back right here. So as you can see, Saitama, Moomin Rider, Genos, and then Random Girl, and then the photo gets taken. Saitama is like fucking cut out. I, dude, the little subtleties that this manga has like scattered all around, like these little jokes where you can, you know, if you pay attention, you'll see it. But if you don't, you're gonna miss them. This is really making me enjoy the series so much more. The book starts off with Saitama. Nope, no, it doesn't. The book starts off with Deep Sea King and Puri Puri Prisoner about a battle. I sense something stimulating. What the fuck? I really like Puri Puri Prisoner. Okay, and he fucking died. Puri Puri Prisoner is going fucking Super Saiyan mode. What the fuck? Guess I'll have to transform. Get ready for this. Transform. What the fuck is this? Wow, okay, and he lost. Okay, so now we're doing Speedo Sonic versus the Deep Sea King, and bro, this fight is so fucking bad. Sonic is dead. What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? You know, not gonna lie, I'd rather he be dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna show you my new favorite character in One Punch Man. 
Piss Boy. Okay, I understand the hype for Genos. I had him as like my fourth favorite character in the series. That is changing. Now, in all honesty, my new ranking is like Saitama, Puri Puri Prisoner, Genos, Sonic. And I think that's what we're gonna go with. Did I say Puri Puri Prisoner is above Genos? Okay, they're like tied. Those guys are like tied. You know, in my previous video, I talked about how I skipped the uh, the Genos backstory. I'm gonna go back and read that. I'm gonna do it later. Dude, what the fuck? Genuinely, what the fuck is this? Bro, that, dude, that is fucking cold. Okay, and now we have Saitama versus Deep Sea Kid. He's fucking dead. Okay, so now I have a new top five. Moomin Rider, Saitama, Puri Puri Prisoner, Genos, and then Sonic. Bro, but Deep Sea King, genuinely, that was probably my favorite villain of the series so far. That section was really, really fucking good.